Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound. Welcome to the first of my in and out videos for 2024. In these videos, I look at my nail polish goals and look at my low buy to see how I'm doing with that. If you want to see the details of this, you can either pause the video here or have a look at my intro video and I'll link that at the end of this one. So first of all, what came into my collection during January and first of all, I made a little order from Rainbow Connection and the first thing I ordered from Rogue Lacquer was getting Figgy with it. And this one is described as being a boysenberry crelly with gold and copper glass and black flakes. I think it's absolutely stunning and it's going to be beautiful to wear in the summer. And I also really wanted to get a reflective gold glitter topper as I don't have one of those and I think it'd be nice to go with the silver reflective toppers that I have. Um, so I picked this one up, it's called Every Night Girls Night, also by Rogue Lacquer and it contains a scattered hollow and reflective gold glitter. I had hesitated from buying Rogue Lacquer toppers before because they are extremely densely packed and this is what this one looks like over the top of a brown cream polish and over the top of a dark red and as you can see it almost completely obscures the polish underneath. But I have Nurse Jackie to thank for putting the idea into my head for thinning out this topper. So that's what I did here and I've put about half base, half topper in it and this is what it looks like now as a topper and I really, really love it like this. So thank you Jackie for giving me that idea um, and allowing me to have this topper just the way I like it. My last three purchases for the month were made from a D-Stash. They're all by A England and the first one is Rose Bauer. This is the one that caught my interest because I really wanted this one when it first came out and missed out on it. It is a lovely pinkish red scattered holographic polish. As with always with A England, the scattered hollow is quite subtle in this one. The next one that I saw was another one that I had wanted back in the day. Um, it is Peas Blossom A Fairy and this one actually turned out to be my favourite of them all and was the first thing that I put on my nails. It is the nail polish on my nails in this video but I've been wearing it for a few days so there is a little bit of tip wear and I only used one coat. It would have been better with two. This is what it looked like on my nails and I absolutely love this polish. And the last one I picked up was A Midsummer Night's Dream and this one grabbed my attention um, because of, even although I have got quite a few sort of pale lavender pink hollows, this one's got a beautiful bright purple shimmer in it as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this one out and see if it is different enough to stay in my collection. So this is what it looks like on the swatch stick and I'm looking forward to trying this one out. So with five polishes coming into my collection I really need to try and de-stash five and if you saw my rewind video for my autumn nail polish rack you will already know that I'm going to be de-stashing candlelight by ILMP. It looks absolutely stunning in the bottle. I just didn't like it much on my nails. It just didn't suit me. Um, and although it's a beautiful polish, I'm gonna be letting this one go. Then I went into my stamping and specialty nail polish drawer and looking for a little bit of low hanging fruit to see if I could pick up the other D stashes. So the first one I picked was this blue stamping polish from Born Pretty that I don't think I've ever used. Um, then I have a couple of homemade spot it polishes. Um, the first one I used Sally Hansen's White On. The second one I used Barry M's Black Forest. Um, added the hair gel to them to try and make them into spot it polishes, which kind of worked, but I've not used them for a very long time, so those ones can go as well. Then I decided I would have a look through my thermals to see if any of those had stopped working and if I wanted to get rid of any of them because I don't wear thermals very often either. 
so the first one is by Arda's Nails it's called Tata for now I'm gonna show you the bottom of this one as a warning that some nail polish labels don't like the non-stick matting that you can put into your drawers and this one has been totally destroyed by that so um, do be a little bit careful with it um, I do really love this polish even if it won't change color anymore um, the purple with the little gold flakes in it is really really pretty um, the next one is Frosty the Unicorn, which was a polish that I created with Arda's Nails. It eventually became known as Try Harder Unicorn and this one is absolutely beautiful and is going to be going nowhere. I'm going to show you at the end if these still transition or not. Then another one that suffered um, the depletion of its label, it's called Scarlet and it's by Arda's Nails. Um, got a really pretty little silver shimmer in this one as well and you can see that on the nail wheel in two coats it does look considerably darker than it does in the bottle next up was Cadillac's Mother Holla and this one looks nothing like it did uh, originally and I have worn this one in this sort of state um, but I'm not really a big fan of green I've really used this one for Halloween nail polish designs then we have Chloris de Carol. This is Don't Look Behind You. I love this topper. It's absolutely stunning. It's supposed to be a dark grey to clear base. Um, I have restored this one once already and I was lucky enough to be given some of the pigment to do that. Then finally we have got Bow Nail Polish and this is their Thermo Top Coat which is a clear to black with fine holographic letters in it. So I did paint all of these onto my swatch wheel and then tested them to see if they still transition. And as you can see here, all except the Chloris de Carol do still change colour. I'm going to be keeping the Chloris de Carol anyway because I really love it, but I'm going to let the Cadillac go. I'm not fond of it in the green colour, so that one's going to be added to my list for de-stashing. So that means in January I purchased five nail polishes and I have de-stashed five nail polishes. So I met my goal of making sure that the total number of nail polishes in my collection doesn't grow. And for my budget so far, um, I had a starting budget of £300. I did spend £42.50, uh, which means I've got £257.50 left for the rest of the year. So I did overspend a little bit for the month. If I stick to £25 a month, I have got enough to spend some money every month in the year. Um, if not, I'm going to have to have a few no-buy months to make up for it. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this, if you have please like and subscribe and I hope I will see you in my next one.